Jelly bean. You want to go outside with me? Yeah? You think so? Okay, come on. Let's go. Cool. Come on, Jelly Bean. Come on, Eddie. This way. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Aren't you cute? You want to go outside? <gasps> the Beanie Baby's going outside with me. Yeah. All right. Let's go for another garden update. Yeah, we're going to go look at the gardens. Jelly Bean. This way. Beanie. Yeah. Come here. She likes to run, you know, figure eights. Come on, baby. Come on, come in the garden. No, come on. Come on, Jelly Bean, stop being a turd. Come on. Come on, sweets. Let's go. Come on in. Do not eat the grass or the corn. Do not eat the corn, you little turd. All right, so the corn's grown. Pretty awesome. Uh, planted three more rows of corn. You can see those sticks. That's what that's about. Um, and then there's a volunteer tomato plant that was saved here. We'll let grow because we like letting things grow. Um, so what I'm do gonna do today is um, I'm gonna put some slug bait around. My mom bought some organic slug bait. And uh, see, because they, the, the, the fuckers, they keep eating on my stuff. <laughs> They're just eating all over the damn place. I don't even know if I have any cucumbers left. Okay, I've got like two cucumbers left, which I'm really happy that they're, they're surviving, but they're, they're not doing well. <laughs> Things keep eating them, so I need to put out slug bait, which I'm glad my mom picked up some slug bait. Now, my pumpkins, on the other hand, are doing absolutely amazing. They're just doing fan-fucking-tastic. Now, they are getting eaten on, like this one, for instance, but I'm going to put some slug bait down. Because, unfortunately, the beer just, it just wasn't enough. Unfortunately, um, it does work to, to catch and kill slugs. Uh, however, it, it only works to a certain extent, you know. Uh, the cantaloupe's doing okay. I'm not really interested. I'm interested in the cantaloupe, to be fair. And then, this is the real shitty part, though. <laughs> I think it was the rabbits. It was either... No, it looks like there's slug goo on it. Never mind. It was the slugs got, got my mom's... Uh, or maybe it was both of them. They got my, my mom's uh, watermelon plant. Which is like, oh, jeez. Really? Okay. So, that's this garden. That's my garden update. And, and the crap that my dad started growing, like the, the spinach and, and all that stuff, like he has like one or two spinach plants. <laughs> um, oh, the other one disappeared. It must have gotten, oh no, is that it? Or, or is there more popping up? Oh, there's one, there's one. I don't know, he might have more pop up, but like at this point it's like, he has like one, maybe two. And it's just not working out well for him. Um, I don't remember what this stuff is, but he's had slightly more success with, with this stuff. But unfortunately, there's just not that much of it that popped up either. And then this row, I think this was the um, cabbage. I don't, I don't think there's anything that's survived either the rats or the slugs over here. And then there's a, uh, there's this stuff, which. Looks like he didn't actually kill it, which is good. But this stuff is interesting. Um, my neighbor says it's an endangered flower of some sort, and I really like it. I think it's super pretty. And you know, it's interesting. You can actually see the Fibonacci sequence in effect here. Um, five is a number in the Fibonacci sequence, and you find it all over nature. So for instance, this flower has, you know, five petals on its flower that's a number you find in the Fibonacci sequence. So everything's tied together. You know what I mean? Anyway, I really like the color of these flowers. They're just so pretty and it grows up so nicely along here. I might, um, I don't know. 
it just kind of grows upward, but my dad knocked it all over so that he could get to the, um, what do you call it? Oh, the morning glory that was growing up, because we don't like the morning glory. It's just a fucking weed. Anyway, my neighbor says this shit's endangered or something. So we always leave it, and it's really pretty, so there's no point in not leaving it. It's like a wildflower or something, and it just seems to, to really love it over here and just grow like gangbusters. It's pretty awesome. Really enjoy that little plant. My, my, my mom, like, was out here, I think, probably making sure he didn't, like, really hurt it, which is why it's all, like, tipped over instead of, like, destroyed. It's all, like, you know, all the flowers are still super bright. He didn't, like... You look at, like, the stems and crap. He didn't really break the stems or anything. Like, um, yeah, that's, I think they're all still, well, some of them might be broken, but I don't, I think he tried not to kill them. I think my mom was out here, like, like, for instance, these, these for sure are still alive, you know, like, it might look kind of bad because it got, like, stepped on and stuff, but it's still alive. Like, the, the, the branch is still alive. It's still attached to the roots and stuff, and I... You know, it's just kind of delicate and stuff. And if my dad did tear it out, I don't know if it would grow back. But it grows well, really well here. And we've left plenty of it and stuff. So it should do fine. Did you find another hole? Are you looking? What are you looking at, baby? Are you looking for a hole? I don't see any holes over there, though. No, I don't see no holes. I don't think there's any holes, which is a good thing. I don't know what holes. Come on, baby. She's always trying to get into my neighbor's yard, though. She likes my neighbor's yard for some reason. You want to go out front with me? Does a beanie baby want to come out front with me? Okay. Come on. Let's go out front. Yeah. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. If you put your mind to it. We had a um, Father's Day breakfast this morning. I made my dad waffles, whipped cream, jelly bean, come here. Waffles and whipped cream and bacon. Hey, come here. And potatoes and eggs. And we ate out here, so be fucking jealous because it's super nice out right now. And it is beautiful out. the garden baby oh that's our, our neighbor's dog uh, Duke jelly beans terrified of him <laughs> all right my peas they're like growing like gangbusters they're really loving it they're like we like to grow we like to live then I got um, volunteer tomatoes popping up all over the place around here like this one, and that 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 one. I mean, there's these. There's so many of them. And then, so I have to actually get out here today and uh, clip these. Um, you have to cut off the suckers of the uh, tomato plant and you kind of have to do this um, when I say suckers I, when, let me explain so if you look down here you can see that right here there's a little leaf starting to grow now I want to let this this little leaf start to grow and it's gonna form its its own little branch see now this you don't want to cut off because that's what's going to give you the flowers you don't want to do that see but this branch here this has nothing on it this doesn't have any flowers it's it's really just for capturing sunlight right but what it what happens is the plant will expend too much energy keeping these alive and what you want is more energy to go into the fruit so you clip, clip these off now let me find this one's this leaf here this one's um I can get the angle right yeah this one right here this leaf right next to my finger that's a little bit more developed so I will cut this this one off you never want to cut these these off in the in the split point though because that's where your your tomatoes are gonna come from 
and it's just gonna make your tomato plant a lot more healthy. My dad said that he was planning on getting some fencing to fence off uh, this uh, garden too. Now you can see my carrots have started to come up. Now at a certain point, maybe in a few days or a couple weeks or something, I will come through here and start to uh, thin out the, the carrots because the carrots, um, they can't be too close together or they won't grow properly. Now that's the one of the things is carrots are only gonna grow as, as much as they have space. So you really do wanna thin them out. They have to have enough space. Now I'm gonna show you something that's really pissing me off and the reason why my dad wants fencing over here. Yeah, you see my happy little bean plants, right? They're happy, they're healthy, and then you look at like this one and, and you're like, what? but it's partly eaten, my poor thing. And this one's partly eaten, my poor thing. And this got eaten. It means goddamn rabbits are in here eating on our stuff. And uh, that's why my dad wants, um, Fence. but the, the beans in general they, they do pretty well I think some of these even though they're they're <laughs> you know they got partially eaten they're probably gonna do okay because the beans just tend to do well um, I'm not too worried about the beans just like I'm not super worried about my my uh, cucumbers because I'm gonna replant my I've got uh, more seeds and according to my mother in, in the state in this area like Cucumbers just grow amazingly well, so that's part of it. My grapes are doing really, really well too. So I got my grapes over here. I always think it's interesting. Like if you look at the the uh, these, they're the new leaves. I always find it interesting. They come out with a little tinge of like pink on them. I always really like the different colors that the plants come out with because the plants aren't just you know green leaves they they uh, they have their own you know unique sets of characteristics and stuff you can see the pink in this one as well and the sun's coming out which is nice and then this one this one i got trained up to go upward which is really good need it to be trying to go upwards. See if we can get this one to go upward as well. I don't know about this one. Let's see. Oh, I got it stuck up there, so. Yeah. Got it hooked. I think I got it hooked in like three different spots, so hopefully that'll make, just make it go upward. And I've pruned back my grapes enough that I think it's going to get enough sunlight. This one, he wants to just grow all over the place, right? But I'm going to, I'm going to, do stuff with him too um and, and I, I wouldn't normally do anything with these vines except for that they're from new vines that haven't been able to grow quite yet and so I want to let those establish and grow and, and so on and so forth and so I want to do something with this and I'm, I'm gonna send it across you know um anyway just my grapes are growing you're doing well. Focus. Yep, see? My little grapes. They're doing well. Got bunches everywhere. I'm just fucking everywhere. It's great. Anyway, you guys have a great day. It's Father's Day. Happy Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, by the way. Without you, none of us would exist. <laughs>